Hey y'all, welcome back. For you that follow my channel, you know that it's been a pretty crazy year for me. Uh, I was just about to give up on my compound and go back to, uh, to a crossbow or start using a crossbow, which I do use a crossbow from time to time. But uh, come to find out my amputation of what wasn't what was holding me off. It was a combination of things. So we're gonna get right to it and I'm gonna show you what I found and how I got back to shooting my red works. So y'all stay tuned. Well, what I found out was I was pretty good at 20. I mean, I'm, I was worried about tor torquing my bow over my amputation. And uh, I got pretty decent at 20. It didn't feel like my anchor point was right. And it was a mental thing. And, but anyway, I was shooting a six pin, five pin or six pin sight. It was a IQ sight. And uh, my pins were blurry. Um, you know, I had been to a pro shop and they had told me last year when I wanted to get a, a clarifier for my peep, they told me, said, yeah, you don't want that. Uh, you don't want to do that. You just need to learn to shoot with blurry pins. And uh, said, if you practice enough, you know, it'll be all right. Well, I did. I went last season. I ended up, uh, I think I got a couple does with a bow and got a buck with a, with a crossbow. But anyway, after amputation, I knew that this might be a little bit more of a challenge, even though everybody was telling me that it shouldn't bother you being your pinky finger. It shouldn't bother your anchor or your hand turned up and down. And this is a Hoyt. It don't have a real high handed, uh, uh, you know, grip like a, say a Matthews does. I used to shoot Matthews. That used to have to cock my hand a little bit more uh, against the bottom of the rest or the bottom of the, the frame. But um, anyway, um, I was talking to Harley, the one that, uh, my little cousin that's bought my Alpha Max, and he's still using a one pin sight. Well, that kind of made a light go off in my head. Well, maybe I need to go down to one pin and just have it a movable pin like I did when I had, I shot 3D. Well, after talking to some different places, talking to Outdoor Junction and Bow Hunters Pro Shop, um, basically what I come up with was uh, I found out that a magnifier with my glasses could possibly be the, the you know, magnified lens with my glasses, there could possibly be a, a clarity um, problem solved. A two, a three, and a four power, power of reader glasses. And then basically rigged them on my bow and dried back wiring my glasses to see where I could see my clarity of my pen. Well, the four power worked. So I went back to an old sight. I went to an HHA optimizer, 5519, the exact same uh, one. Well, there's some modifications. It looks a little different, but it's basically the same style uh, sight that I had on my Alpha Max and the same sight I had on my Matthews. So I went back to it, got with HHA, got me a four powered lens. As you can see, it's got a lens in it. And man, this was a game changer. Well, with how my bow had been adjusted in without running any magnifier, I had to, um, I had to go back through everything. So I have, my peep has been raised. I got one of the Bomar nose buttons. I'd put it on last year, really liked it. Um, uh, got me some new padding for my fall away rest. But one thing that I did change, I'm back up to 73 pounds. And I went to a four, or a, went to a 250. This is a Easton Full Metal Jacket 250 series. It's actually 11.5 grains per inch, so it's a heavy arrow. But um, this is what my spine called for on this much poundage on this RX1 Redworks. So I changed arrows and everything, but I learned a lot doing this. It actually, I just had to go back to the basics and quit thinking everything through so much. So um, my peep's been moved up to help me with my anchor point. Like I said, the bar Bomar nose button is on and it's doing really good. I went to 250 arrow, which is 11.5 grains per inch. I've got my optimizer set up and a little more tweaking 
and I'll be back to uh, what I was doing. So that little old trick with the with the lenses or the uh, glasses, that was a big change. So we'll see, I'll zoom in here. So I'm kind of slight quartering shot right there. And this is 20 yards. I'm selling my 20 yard line. That's right out that off shoulder. I just kind of aim mill the body. There ain't nothing on it. We'll walk up there and look at them. But this was a game changer. I mean, just going back to the basics, you know, they all, everybody's always told me in archery that mental is 90%, men, mentally is 90% archery, 10% physical. So, you know, I was so doubting myself with confidence over this right here, over this finger missing that I was ready to give up and go to crossbow. Now I have nothing wrong with the crossbow. I killed a nine pointer crossbow last year and you'll see me hunt with the crossbow this year on pine line. I will have it in shooting houses. I will have it in circumstances and situations I can use it. I have nothing against crossbows whatsoever, but I'll be taking my hood again. And it uh, really puts a smile on my face because I've worked myself back up to 70 pounds. I was going back down poundage and everything, but I'm right back to where I was. And it was a matter of going back to basics and calming down and realize what was going on. So we'll walk up here and look at this and see what uh, what this group looks like. I believe I've got one low, but we'll go up here and see. That's not bad. So if you line up on the target, what I was aiming for was the exit. So as you can see, that's kind of a, that's an angle going back behind that leg, staying away from that shoulder. And of course, the, and if, it's not exactly politically correct, but it's really close, but I was aiming to try to come out the opposite side of that leg. And I would say if you push them through, that's pretty dang close to where they need to be. I know I pulled that last shot a little bit, but the elevation was still good. But that's 20 yards, almost touching. I've laid several in these bags really close. I've had several questions on my bow. I mean, I, I've had several questions on my bow. This is a Hoyt um, Redworks. RX-1, they've come up, I think we're up to an RX-7 now. But uh, it is a carbon fiber riser. I've got a, a, a Hoyt, which is actually a QAD. I think QAD fall away. It's just got all the Hoyt and real tree on it. But uh, I love the fall away rest. Um, I'm shooting a Bomar nose button. Have a D loop. Like we said, 55 19 sight. Like I said earlier, with the four power magnified uh, lens. It come with all the, I've got all the dampeners on it. Got a fuse stabilizer and of course my, my sling. And I'm shooting a little outlaw um, true ball. I've always shot true ball, always liked true ball, never had no issues. But uh, 70 pound, 29 and a half inch draw. 29, in, <clears throat> sorry, 29 inch draw. 70 pound, my, bow max is out, pulled on uh, scales at uh, 73, 72.8 or something like that. But, uh, it's a nice bow, like it. I'm really glad to be going back to the woods with it. So, a uh, few tips. Like I said earlier, I've said it three or four times, don't overthink things. Two, calm down. If you got to, get by yourself, only shoot three arrow groups. Uh, if you can, shoot one arrow group, walk down and get it. Rest, shoot an arrow group if you ain't been shooting in a while. If you've got your self built up, shoot three arrow groups. Um, don't overthink it. And if you got too many pins and blurry issues or you're ha getting age on you, I'm, I'm 49. Uh, had to go to glasses when I, about three years ago. So I've seen a lot of changes. When I had to have bifocals, it changed my 
vision on these, which really mess with my hunting stuff or my bows. I ain't really messed with my rifle. But um, the 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 sun or the readers work. You go dollar store, get a two power, three power, four power, fix them to the sight that you have. See what clarifies your pins up, and what makes um, you know what what makes you see the target better. I you know, I was astonished when I put this on come out here and draw my bow back and look through my peep down at the deer and could see the holes where we have we've been shooting the target so something to think about but uh anyway you'll be seeing me with the old hoyt here very soon it's a week and two days away we're going to be after him here in tennessee it's opened up and ready to go so if you like what we're doing please subscribe and like and as always god bless we'll see you on the next video see ya